how we lie. <laughs> I think I hear myself. Everybody dance for a second. Getting everything all worked out here. It is so good to see you guys so soon again. It's not Friday, what are we doing here? It's the Monday Night Live. Are you guys alive? Are we all alive this Monday? It's a holiday, so why not, right? Little President's Day party going on here. And I am so happy that you could join me. Thank you so much. I see that Chris is here, that Opal guy is here, Boot is here. Ken is here in the house. Good to see you guys. Melissa is here. Fantastic. Brian is here. It's moving fast. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Lisa is here. <laughs> Allison is here. Woo. All right. I'm, I'm loving it. The gang's all here. Jeff is here. Fantastic. Well, what we have set up for you tonight is when we were on the live on Friday, we had some technical difficulties and I would say that it was, you know, some kind of questionable user error thing, not sure, but <laughs> we were unable to see what was going on with the black light. Now it was not the black light, it was charged and everything. And I was just like, wow, how come it's not got the big oomph? You know, I, I, I just saw such cool results earlier in the day. And then the sun goes down, it's going to be even better. And all of a sudden, y'all aren't seeing what I got to see. None of us did. It was terrible. It was a total non-event. And so I thought, okay, you know, going to need to to look at what that was. And so started playing again and realized that I had turned down the exposure on the camera on the microscope while we were fiddling around. And so when the lights went out, the exposure was very low and, you know, it's, it's physics. <laughs> it's, it's, uh, you know, all the things that you expect out of light and what you expect when there isn't any. And so uh, I don't know who's to blame for that, but we're going to go ahead and get round two going this <laughs> this evening. And uh, I did do a little bit of playing and I had a really great suggestion from Ken um, in the audience, uh, the uh, non-spicy pepper one, although I'm sure you like spicy peppers more, the, the, the one that likes to listen to the dead. Um, we're going to look at one of his very, very glowy UV um, fossils from Florida and see if there might be some forums in the matrix material of that. And then we're going to go ahead and revisit some of the ones you probably on that quick slideshow that we got to see uh, right there at the top. Uh, you probably saw some of what I was sharing over there on the Discord. We can look a little bit more at that if you don't belong to our Discord or if you if it went by too fast for you. I know that not all of the folks that are in the chat right now even uh, belong. And so if you do want to join the Discord, you can either uh, contact me through my website, which is ozonefineart.com. And uh, it is not my like channels discord it's actually the discord of the rockhound podcast and so you can also email the rockhound podcast and that email address is on darn near every single one of our podcasts and so what you do is you email in we give you an invite and then it gets you uh invited into the discord and it's a good time for you know showing and telling all week long and all that kind of good stuff and so I, I see some some dens and whatnot here. So that is awesome. Um, and actually, if somebody uh, that has a wrench um, wants to share the Discord uh, invite, uh, you got the okie dokie from me. I mean, if you're here, then you're invited. 
the hell's that? <laughs> it's because we love you so much and we want to see you all the time. And it's kind of cool because a lot of times people talk about stuff that they're doing in the chat, but you can't see it. Nobody can attach pictures to the chat, which I wish they could. Um, and in that case, you can go, oh, I'll just go ahead and pop it up on the Discord. And then you guys can kind of uh, play part of this whole mishmash of the, the show and tell that happens during the live streams. So everybody can be part of it. Uh, spots in the house. Very, very cool. And uh, what what am I uh, missing in the chat? You guys always have such good side chat uh, situations going on. I just wanted to, from the top, uh, let you know uh, what was going to happen. It looks like uh, perhaps Twister has entered the, the chat as well. Did I say hello to Journeys? Zzz, Mr. Josh Journeys. Good to see you. <laughs> I saw your name go by and I like, you know how sometimes you think you say something, but you don't. And then, yeah. And I've been in a chat before where like somebody who like Kyle, for instance, he'll just start chatting with me. He never said hi though. Like, <laughs> so it's like, he probably thought he said hi, but it was like yesterday type thing. You know how this all goes. Um, also in the news, in the hot, fresh news of the day. Uh, oh, where's the lab coat? Ah! You know, like, actually, that's a, a funny story, and I'll make it extremely brief, but I went to go get something off of uh, Amazon so that I could be wearing, donning the official lab coat, uh, Brian asks, and um, for some reason, there was, like, some, like, weird kerfuffle going on with my Prime, and it ended up being slid over to somebody else's account, yet I've been paying the whole time. And I like got a little, um, I don't know, maybe a little testy with the person that I was dealing with, but I was actually on the phone and in a chat with somebody for over 45 minutes over the thing. And I was like, I'm over it. <laughs> I just want to buy something, you guys. But, you know, I got I got a little stuck on on a detail and so anyways, I'm sorry about the lab coat. I'll work on that. You know, there's so much going on in labs like right here where I live that I should be able to just go and get one somewhere, you know, close by. So um, so Allison is saying that we all just subbed to Mr. Joshua. OK. Um, and I don't know if I am. But if I'm not, then I'll I'll go do as well. And congrats on that, Josh. And everybody, thank you so much for all the support for this community. You guys know you all rock so much. The love is amazing to me. It's so great. So I'm really appreciative of how all of the, the new people that pop in and they're like, should I start a channel? Or, you know, do you want to go check out one of my videos or whatever? Everybody is always so positive And I really appreciate that about y'all. It's very awesome. Um, okay. We got the nomad in the house. Welcome in. It's Monday. It's live. What are we all doing here? We're looking at UV stuff under the microscope. Uh, although of course we, we get, I think part of the fun is seeing sort of the before and after uh, of what is going on. And, you know, some, some are non-events and I tried to, to get a few things queued up uh, ahead of time so that we knew for sure that stuff would be fun. Spot's lab coat is upstairs. Oh, well go get it. <laughs> Papa's gems is in the house. Awesome. Good to see you, Papa. Uh, oh, Joseph is in the house too. Very good. Thank you for coming. That rockin' wheelers dude. Uh, thank you for joining. I know that you're a super uh, busy, busy person with all your fam family and all the rocks that you are amassing. Super busy, I'm sure. So another thing that kind of brought me away from doing uh, the playing on the microscope was I met somebody uh, to do like a little exchange. And the reason why I'm pausing in my <laughs> vernacular here, my my chatter spew that usually happens is I'm trying to multitask because um, this person did share with me uh, some mighty, mighty, mighty fun 
uh, pieces of wood uh, brought them over. And so here's one of them. The uh, This is petrified wood and it could be from Oregon. It's most likely from Oregon, but you can see this is like a massive piece of wood. And I, I'll go ahead and divulge. This was Kirk. Um, you guys see him in the chat quite a bit. He lives nearby. And so he kept on telling me, I've got this like big petrified wood that I think that you might really like. And, you know, when, when can I bring it over to the coast? And, and we've been so busy, but can you get a load of that wonderful bark? Um, and you can see it's it's quite quite the big thing. So here I'm going to play that one more time so that you we're going to pause it on the um, the place where it shows us that. Okay, so look at all of those interesting ovals that are in the wood, and so you have to wonder: is that Oh, it looks like Bob is in the house. Good to see you. Did I say hi to that Opal guy? I'm sure I did, but I'm going to say hi again. Uh, this is that thing that I was just talking about. Did I say hi or did I think hi and not say it? That is a big piece of pet wood, right, Joseph? And, you know, does it have somebody be like, hey, I need to bring you this petrified wood. So, so the locale is not known, but it's probably from Oregon. It came from the yard of somebody who lives nearby Kirk. Um, like I said, you've seen him in the chat. Uh, his name is, is like foyer, but it's ho no foyer. <laughs> I'm going to mess it up again from how I remember it. Foyer, it's Hoyer. And he's a ceramicist and uh, artist extraordinaire and total geology, uh, you know, enthusiast, just like the rest of us. Hey, Kyle, how's it going? And so he brought me this chunk and I am just super excited about what's going on with those interesting oval guys going through there. And um, actually, since Kyle is in the house, uh, we hope you're having a claim, Allison. That's hilarious. Right? Wrong show. <laughs> I, I get to play with it first. I'm gonna. I'm definitely gonna make a bunch of slices uh, out of this guy, though. I think. I mean, it's so pretty on the outside too. I don't know, um, but I'm sure that I will slice it a few times because. I was thinking of doing, you know, adding this to the Petrified Wood po Project where we can get uh, an identification. And I love how massive it is. Massive. It is on the outside. So we've got some, some clues as far as what the textures and everything are on the outside as well. That will make many good slabs, says the opal guy. Yeah, right? And so... Actually, Kyle, I was wondering, oh, Ken said his soul just screamed. I love that. <laughs> Had the visceral reaction. So I know you're just kidding, Allison. Um, so Kyle, uh, I was wondering if this looks like some of the stuff at all from Sweet Home because it, it's like kind of the same neighborhood. And so I'm wondering if you recognize it. I've got another piece. So, and oh, uh, Kyle's going to try to answer all questions in between bites. And I totally get you. I'm going to be doing that as soon as I'm done with the, the live stream. <laughs> like, another thing, I, like other point of not the same show is that like, unfortunately, I do not have a plate of something that I can share the vision with you guys. Um, it's going to be um, bison with rice, though, this evening. It's going to be quite good. So um, I am going to now multitask once again and uh, see if I can't bring down the other. Here's this one. I think this one's upside down, so you'll have to forgive me. Um, but gosh, look at that chunk tacularity. There's my hand so you can see how big this is. These are the two pieces that Kirk brought me today. And look at, again, we have, you know, it's from the same tree probably. Look at those ovals. 
Like, are those great big straws that deliver all the, the goodness up to the top of the tree? Or are those um, from bugs? I don't know. It's it's not Torito, <laughs> that's for sure. And that's usually when I see ovals like that. So look at like how, you know, burly whirly this is too. How fun is that? So I can't wait to put that piece. I'll play this one again one more time and we can kind of take a little bit of a closer look when we get to the uh, cross section. But um, this one's going on the the twenty inch saw, and we'll we'll get some neato. Uh, there we go. I don't know. Maybe do we want to see that one first? Let's go backwards a little bit. Okay, so uh, but we don't want it to be blurry. That's kind of sharp. So you can see great big um, growth lines. And he, he was like, yeah, it looks like fish flesh or something. He was headed to uh, go eat fish afterwards, actually. I think it made him uh, totally hungry. <laughs> and then we've got the, those great big uh, circular, you know, oval structures that are irregular. And a lot of times when you see them in wood and it's part of its uh, regular growth structure, they they kind of seem to be linear along the growth lines. So I don't know what to make of this. Does anybody know? Oh, yeah. Bob is saying he loves the bark structure. And Opal Guy is talking about leaving it whole. Yeah. Hard to tell if it's from Sweet Home, says Kyle. Thank you. And I know I'm like, since it's already opened up, I know I'm going to take at least a couple slices, but you're right. Like, it's hard to know when, when it's a really big, lovely specimen, like these guys, it's hard to, it's hard to decide that you're going to, oh, I'm just going to decimate the whole thing and make a whole bunch of slabs. It'll be interesting to cut, to see like this open area here has weathered at least a bit. And so we might actually have something a little bit different on the inside as I go along too. Lisa says, um, so beautiful. And Spot wants me to call Mulder and Scully. Yeah, do you think this is like a, an X file? It's definitely an O file, um, but <laughs> I'm not sure. Uh, I just don't know enough about what goes on with the woods and I'm getting my eye trained to the petrified woods. So it's always interesting to get some, some crowd knowledge and, and everybody's eyes, the worst fish and chips ever says that opal guy. Where's that? Where's the worst fish and chips ever? <laughs> or is this it? <laughs> yeah. I mean, the, this could look like the, the, Oh man, talk about like rotten fish and chips. Like it's got like a black, you know, area around the fish before it gets to the the fried goodness on the outside. Although the the whole piece does look a little bit like a there. <laughs> your, the outside of your fish and chips or the fish part, right? But yeah, that is so neat. And then if we scrub ahead, we can get down you know, you can definitely see the cellular structure. So it doesn't seem like this will be any problem getting a decent cross section or rather uh, a, like a section for the thin section, like getting getting all the directionals so that I can make uh, the best shot at the um, at the ID. In fact, you can see the cellular stacking right up the middle from the very bottom of the screen going upwards. You can see dot, 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 dot in a row, um, especially dark ones coming up through the, the very beginning of the white region. Um, a little right of center, but like just, you know, in, in one of the, the corduroy uh, little grooves there you can you can really get a good idea of the stacking on the the cellular structure so that's going to be a good time so i'll let that go ahead and play out um the 
blurple lines are very cool. <laughs> yeah. And, you know, if I was able to get like a, a, a cut off of this in time, we could have looked at this under the microscope. That ain't going to happen tonight. I, you know, <laughs> I would have to, to bring the, the microscope over to it. Uh, so Joseph is saying, I am a newbie. I just collect and polish and, and, and he, 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 yeah. <laughs> you know, in that regard, I feel like we're all kind of newbies in just totally enjoying the, um, the spoils of what's out there and learning as we go along, which I think is so cool about what, uh, what Kyle, you know, uh, does in in his live streams because there's so much that we can learn from uh being able to see here's this material and here it looks like rough or here it looks like uh it's been prepped uh into a cabochon or or a specimen or whatever and here's the name and here's where it's from i mean if you just expose yourself to that for long enough you're you're gonna become better than an you know novice <laughs> for sure. They don't really look buggy, says Ken. I, yeah, I'm totally, I'm stumped. And let's see, uh, Palmwood maybe says boot. Now, wouldn't that be cool? You know, there was a time that here in Oregon, uh, we were tropical. <laughs> I missed it. Wouldn't I love to be in, in, tropical Oregon. I would love that so much. And so it's, it's very possible that we have Palm. I know that we have Palm here on the beach and some of the stuff that we've been looking at lately, like that last, um, chunk like this here <laughs> actually hasn't gone very far. <laughs> like the stuff that I'm really excited about stays like right on my desk. And so we'll be, we'll be, uh, checking the wood structure on that one, there's really good cellular structure in there. And so I should be able to like one way that you can get started is remember how I was showing you that that one little piece of corduroy that has the little stacked guys going up the middle. The way that those cells stack is one of the first indicative things when you're looking at um, hardwood, softwood, conifer, you can start ruling a bunch of stuff out right from the very beginning. And so that's kind of fun. And the palm woods typically have the larger cell structure. Yes, indeed, boot. Um, dot, dot, line, line, love it, love it. <laughs> You're right, Allison. <laughs> we'll take it. Um, and that opal guy says, stumped. I see what you did there. <laughs> yeah, I love it. Let's, let's get those... Uh, Monday dad jokes going, uh, Kyle, <laughs> in between your bites. And large and uh, Lisa says, I thought the same thing. Yeah. Okay. Burls do weird things inside their structure too, says Ken. And that's true. And, you know, I almost, when, when he first brought it out, and I saw like he wanted me to see that part of the uh, the wood that was showing. Um, and then I kind of saw the shape. I was like, well, maybe it's root wood. Um, but then looking at the outside, it looks like it's got more of a um, bark to it. And there's another place where you, the more eyes you lay on different kinds of petrified wood, and say root casts and things like that, you start having an eye for like, yep, that's a root or nope, that couldn't be. That's definitely got to be a burl. But I, I feel like, you know, um, that second one really feels burly to me. <laughs> and if I could be a specialist as far as uh, my wood collecting goes, I'd be a burly girly. <laughs> I do believe. So uh, let's see. We have Ken's boxes right here because I thought that there were, there might be some pretty interesting things uh, to, to play with in his box. And so uh, we've got that ready to go. And then I thought what we'd do is get started with this little, um, doesn't that look like a cave dwelling to you guys? 
<laughs> this is a half of a geode that Mr. Dustin from Dustin Finds Rocks sent me to cut. So it was just, you know, a who knows what ugly rock. And then I cut it open and this was the, the fabulous goodness that was inside. Such a cool thing. And it's getting washed out by, you know, the, the lighting of my computer and what's going on in this room right now. It's, it's actually quite exciting. And so, uh, of course, as soon as I was like, okay, you know, this is going to be really fun. Let's do something under the, the microscope with the UV. Um, I started bringing out rocks and that just happens to always sort of be on the shelf over there by the white rabbit. There. <laughs> <laughs> so hard. <laughs> I'm on opposite right now. You can change your camera so that you're not. I don't know what my problem is. I really should. Um, at any rate, so I uh, I brought that down and I was like, okay, that's that's already a winner. Let's let's do that. Um, and so let us come over here and grab that. Da -da -da. Okay, so this is this is the the problem that we had before. So what I did is I did a uh, auto exposure on whatever it was that we were doing before, and now like we brought it down. I'm gonna you know uh, wrangle it into focus. Oh look at that! So auto exposure really really worked well. For one thing, oh my gosh, you guys, that's so pretty. <laughs> that's the little cliff dwelling inside and so they're like crystally you can see um some crystal spires over on some of those lower ones and then it's super body as well and then the interior of the cave has those like nubbins as well oh my gosh I mean, actually, it's like this exciting for me every single time. I'm really sorry, you guys. <laughs> this is not an overreaction. It's that good. Um, oh, is Theo in the house? Hey, Theo, thanks for coming by, buddy. I was I was just noticing that you were messaging and <laughs> the the uh, the face messenger, and I was like, oh. Look at that. And uh, you guys all might have even heard that. And look, we've got Lady Green Eyes in the house. Good to see you. Very nice to have you here. Thank you for coming. Um, and let's see. I'm just uh, catching up because we can. We don't mind looking at this for a little bit, right? <laughs> uh, and Ken says that almost looks like cell structure on the back wall. Yeah, doesn't it? Was it alive? You know, it's interesting too that you say that because actually, um, uh, Dustin has these sort of theories about how it could possibly be um, uh, some of the stuff that he finds he does feel like might have something to do with fossil material. Okay. So I'm going to get rid of that little auto exposure, uh, square. Sorry about that. And so we're looking at this and, um, if I move it over just a little bit, I think we're going to get some of the rim too. And so what's kind of neat about this though, is you can, you know, the lighting's just going to be hitting that cave a little bit different and we're going to play a little bit with the field of view so we can go down deeper into the cave too. And so I'm going to bring it out a little bit. Um, and let's look at the, the rim really. Oh, actually it might be too close to the microscope to, to look at the rim very well. Yeah, I think so. It's only going to get, yeah. And so I'd have to, I had to have to put that actually deeper into the vice, which let's not mess with that. Okay. So we did go to the back of the cave though. If you notice just with my playing there, we have a better view at the back of the cave. And that's really interesting. You know, one thing that we could probably do, we won't be able to do it tonight. Oh my gosh, Joseph, you are so kind. <laughs> Thank you so much. <laughs> this will definitely go to feeding our, uh, our microscopic needs. I promise you. <laughs> the lab coat. <laughs> 
I really, really, really appreciate that. You have no idea. Um, that is wow factor, by the way. I saw your comment up there too. I'm I'm just catching up, but like I saw the the orangey red and like, oh my gosh. <laughs> it always is exciting. Thank you. Um, and so you can see the little dots on the cave wall nubbins at the back there. And with the other lens that I got with this microscope, I can boost it from, we're looking at about, um, I think, it, I don't think it's all the way in. So we'll go all the way in here in a second. We've got this in view, so we might as well look at it. But um, it goes from where this leaves off about 40x to, oh my gosh, journeys. Are you even kidding me, you guys? <laughs> You guys are going to make me reach a higher register. <laughs> I can sing so high. <laughs> Sorry, little stepbrothers in there. Um, no, seriously, that is so, so, so generous. This really does help the channel. So I promise, like, it all goes right back to you guys. <laughs> but thank you so much, Mr. Dennis. Like, you should have a, dear, 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 you know, like, a, okay. Anyways, um, thank you. <laughs> So those little dots, since we have the magnification, we can change lenses and we can go from 40 to 90 uh, and see what those little dots on those nubbins at the back of the cave really are. How's that? So uh, I'm, it's too bad that Jared's not in the house also. Uh, currently rock counting, he's totally into uh, exactly that kind of thing, uh, microscopic you know, he, he loves his micro minerals. So let's, let's see if we can get how much closer to some of them nubbins. Okay. So for one thing, all of a sudden we're seeing those spires. So good. Um, nubbin dots, any relation to dipping dots? I don't know. Like we, we seriously have to, like, this is our frontier in which we can go ahead and explore and make all the cool discoveries, right? But you can, you're starting to see actually uh, the brown sugar on the top of the cave there um, is like pretty interesting. But if you pan down to the bottom of the screen, we've got some of the nubbins that are kind of close by that have the, the little dots on them. So <laughs> thank you. You know, uh, Mr. Journeys, uh, the energy, you know, comes from you guys. And then it, it, it's kind of like a um, we're a circuit, you know, uh, it's, it's infectious and we share it with each other. So I really appreciate you guys. And it, you know, you guys all make me pumped and then I get pumped and like shoot it on back to you guys. And hopefully we've got this reciprocal pump stokeness going on. That is amazing. Holly, welcome. Thank you for coming. Pop rocks. All right, Brian. Um, not me. I wear a mask. <laughs> All right. So <laughs> we'll try not to reciprocate too much. Although, you know, uh, this, this virtual world is pretty safe. Um, oh, golly. <laughs> Miss Holly. Um, anyways, so we've got some of those dots right there. And actually, these crystals right here are really interesting, too. So let's go in a little... Who wants to get closer? We'll go as close as we can. Um, I'll, I'll adjust uh, the focus so that we can see what we're zooming in on. And then if you guys have specifics where you want me to move right and left, I'll try to do that before uh, going too fast. And so we're seeing some of the nubbins crystals like that. I didn't realize those nubbins look smooth, but there's, there's like uh, demi nubbins on the nubbins. The nubbins have nubbins like, well, the nubbins have druzy. <laughs> I guess that's that's truly what Druzy is all about. But the the their Druzy e nubbins is, and it looks like those little dots are part of that. But I what I was trying to zoom in on actually was these little crystals in this this grouping right in front of us, um, both to the left hand side with the the ones that are uh, gloopy gloppy bots teeny weeny uh, like a bot spire there um 
And then we've got the one to the right that I just kind of zoomed. And you've got these tiny little crystals growing off the side of that. And then I think we've got some towers in the background, which we'll go down to. Um, Nubception. <laughs> I think that there's t-shirts that need to happen um, with, with, you know, some of that material there. And so we'll, we'll have to figure out um, before we go back uh, further in the cave, since we have the, the um, obsession right here, let's do a little bit of, um, okay. So I sharpened that up and that does look interesting. Who knows what minerals those are though? The pillars of innovation. <laughs> you guys, I'm glad that this is being recorded because I'm going to need to go back to like that. The pillars of innovation is an album, isn't it, Ken? Can we use that as an album name? We need to we need to do that. That would be so cool. <laughs> um, and so. Uh, oh, uh, and and Joseph, say hi to Rosie for all of us. It does look like teeth. Um, although somebody needs to brush. <laughs> um, okay, let's go closer. Let's see. Oh, wrong way. Who wants to go closer? This is like, this is closer than I thought it was going to go. I thought we were in pretty close already. So here we are. We're st starting to see some definition in the crystals on those. They look like dark, like Coke you know, colored, not, not the, the white kind of Coke, but the, the brown kind of Coke root beer colored crystals. I mean, are you seeing some flash on those guys? They actually look like they're throwing some, you know, that they have a, a crystal in form. They're not little dots. Wow. Dendritus. <laughs> Oh, this is great. It should be an album, right? Papa's Gems. Uh, the view of British dentists. Opal guy. That's hilarious. Uh, and Allison's like, oh my gosh, that's messed up. Yeah, totally. Yeah, so smoky. They're smoking. Um, okay, let's go. Let's go. If have we gone too far already? One might ask themselves. Okay, so we we can actually how far I can lighten this up a bit, and I'm gonna also tweak our focus, and let's just concentrate on this guy right there. Wow. Yeah. Okay. So now we're definitely seeing. Whatever is growing on this. Okay, let's get closer. Oh, we're seeing like facets on that thing. Okay, so I'm going to move the whole thing over a little bit. So that guy, guy is in center stage for the very best focus. And <laughs> like, where? how about UV, Karen? Um, we'll hit that in a second. Okay, guys, I promise. But th this is definitely like a tangent. And you guys already knew that that was going to maybe happen. <laughs> and so I'm turning the lights up and I'm zooming in so that we can see these guys. Oh, look, they almost look like garnet. Aw, they're so cute. Okay, does anybody want to make a guess now? I didn't know we were going to get this close. Uh, hey, Christy, um, we don't know because she asks, hey, hey, rock peeps, what are we looking at? So first of all, it is a geode that Dustin from Dustin Finds Rocks sent me from probably, um, you know, Missouri, but like maybe haunted. Um, and then so... Um, we looked at the cavity inside and it has like these little crystals. And then we zoomed in on the microscope and we're looking at the crystals on the crystals that have more crystals. Because if you look at it, there's a nubbin and that's a crystal. And then we have the druzy on top of the nubbin. And then we have those little like blueberries or whatever on top of them as well. Oh my gosh. Oh, and Sean's in the house. Hey, hey, Mr. Sean, how's it going? Um, and a gorilla face above it. <laughs> do we have a gorilla face? Oh my gosh, we do. I see what you're seeing. It's like a profile. Nice. Um, who knew? 
who knew that there was a very, very tiny gorilla inside of my geode? <laughs> Thank you, Holly. <laughs> Tubes. Um, Ken asks, uh, oh, like come like the gorilla's head might have been a tube. Yeah. Um, Druzy, teeny, tiny Druzy. Yeah, totally. It is very interesting. I am just wondering, like that configuration, uh, that looks like tubi chalcedony over a crystal. How interesting. Yeah. Coated in even tinier crystals. Yes. Um, thank you, Ken and Holly. And I can't unsee the teeth now, says Allison. <laughs> it's absolutely messing me up. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm like shaking the, uh, the microscope by laughing. Um, chompers, computer enhance, <laughs> right? A chalcedony layer over a clear quartz is what Theo is thinking too. So I think Ken and Theo are on the same, um, wavelength there. Let's see. Do we have any, oh my gosh, we're getting closer. Watch out. Okay, that is our closest. Let me turn this up a, just a tiny bit more. Don't want to wash this out, but this will hopefully shed light <laughs> on what we're looking at. And, and you know, again, um, I, can, I can get us in twice as close with the other lens. It just won't happen tonight because I'd have to change the lenses over and we don't want to wait for that. And we've got like UV stuff to do. Um, but how cool. Like I, I did not know that these guys were in there at all. Um, those are the super small seed crystal for the next layer, the sex life of freaky fractals, right? <laughs> so true spot. I love it. Uh, said it as I was typing. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> totally. Iron oxide says Holly Noel. And you know, what's interesting about that is, I don't know if you guys remember the episode, uh, I know Theo and Kyle will, but uh, the episode of the Rockhound podcast where we had our fabulously famous NASA scientist on, and she was talking about the blueberries that were on Mars. And that's actually where I got the term for this guy right here. And the blueberries are iron. And so I'm wondering if these are blueberries, like just our own little Martian landscape right here inside of Dustin's geode. You know, it totally reminds me of Men in Black where there's like the whole galaxy inside, <laughs> you know, the little cat thingy um, the, on the collar of the cat. Uh, interestingly you know, ancient callback of, of that movie, but actually that's one of my favorite movies. So I'm kind of weird that way. The, the booberries on Mars. Yes. <laughs> or hematite specifically says that opal guy. Hmm. Yes. <laughs> Count Chocula. Yeah. Yeah. You know, if, if you were talking about, um, some, some lucky charms or some cereal, we're, we're definitely looking at the Count Chocula version. So yeah, we will take a closer look at that. And um, uh, and still, Brian is, this is making me want to go brush my teeth, he says. <laughs> Frank and Barry, they found Opal on Mars too. Yep. Holly's up with it. Oh my goodness. You know, maybe we need to get our NASA scientists back. Uh, that that was one of her her favorites was the Opal feels of, of uh, Mars. Um, she, she did treat us to a lot of interesting information about that. Okay. I'm zooming out. Okay. We're going to say bye to that real quick and get back out here. And so now here we are overexposed again, and I'm just going to turn down the light instead of messing with the exposure too much because, um, that's what messed us up the last time. And so I am just going to really quick though, I just wanted to see these little spires back there and then we'll turn the UV on them and see what's what, because it becomes really interesting. And, and since we are doing a little mineral journey, okay, so that's what I wanted to bring into focus. Those little weird globulars back there in the throat of the cave. So we do have teeth and a throat. <laughs> 
<laughs> we've got it all. <laughs> and so uh, I like to look at deep zoom images of Mars landscapes. I saw the opal and it was blue, a beautiful blue. Nice, Holly. Wow. Amazing. Um, yes, Lisa says, bring back Caitlin. Yeah, Caitlin is our NASA scientist. And yeah, I think it's time to have her on again. I'm sure that there's been a, a bunch of cool things that have happened since we had her on. Um, so let's see. Really quick. Let's go way back there and zoom in on it. Hello. There's our little glob tabulars. Looks like a little gremlin there. <laughs> like, um, oh, what was that? Uh, uh, Munch's Odyssey. <laughs> like, I don't know if you guys can see. Like the little globular all the way to the right looks like the face of, of a munch. Um, okay, so still going backwards. <laughs> Sorry, guys. There we go. I just wanted to see what was back here because I didn't do this before. <laughs> satisfying everyone's jellies all at the same time. We can turn this up a little bit. I mean, there's still more back there, but you can see it like continues on with both the bots and the crystals. And then we've, we've got more blueberries. And so there is a lot going on back there. All right. I'm going to pan back out and show that that beautiful gaping maw that we have Put this back into focus focus it's a lot of a lot of knob twistings going on here here we go all right that's pretty good right there okay um now the moment that we've all been waiting for. Okay, so you guys can see what that all looks like. And I'm going to see if I can cross this over so that we don't totally can discombobulate the... Oh, there we go. So look at what, look at what shines and what doesn't shine. Isn't that weird? So we have, we definitely have some different, um, different guys happening here that are reactive and some that aren't. So you guys are welcome to, to weigh in on, on what we're seeing here too. Um, and I can, I can go ahead and zoom in and, or, um, zoom. I, th I think I'm, I'm pretty maxed out on the zooming out, but you can see even the, the, uh, the reef is, is you, the, the side of the mouth is, is showing, but these guys in the middle totally like just blew my mind. I was like, no way. They are so glowy. Whoops. Putting the flashlight in the way of the, the microscope. Yeah, more teeth, but these ones glow. I guess this is how you whiten, right? Like Jim Henson created a geode. <laughs> yeah, it's the ozone reef. Just waiting for some little sharkies to swim by there. Thank you, Holly. <laughs> the dark crystals is Opal Guy. <laughs> yeah, actually, um, I can, I can take a snapshot. Let me, um, see if I can get, I love that, uh, that particular chunk over there into focus a little bit better. Cause like we're focused in the center and it's not quite as good. Actually, I don't, I don't think I can get out any farther with that. Let's see. Nope. Darn. Okay. Well, we're beholden to this right here, but that's some good focus. All right. I'll tell you what also, if you guys want it, um, 
I'm going to do something here really quick. Okay. <laughs> that, that way, if you guys wanted to screenshot or whatever, you could do. That's not bad either. Although, I think I'm in. There we go. I like that actually made me quiet. All right. <laughs> So anyways, thank Dustin for for this wonderful little light show. That was that was quite interesting. Yeah, that that beautiful lightning bolt across the top was what I was trying to say earlier was that there's there's a a bit of reactivity going on on the um the very top of this stone it's it's got like some other light shows going on kind of like the um the pluminess i think on the other side too not as much though you're seeing the reflection there because i did do the polish <laughs> tried to polish it well there we go but yeah, that all those spires, the way that they they glowed so well, that was just such a neat. Um, that was a really neat surprise, and so good to know that this whole thing works as opposed to not working. <laughs> so there's our superstar, and um, uh, yes, please. Um, actually, you know, uh, wonder. Oh, I can't do it here. Shoot, I'm on the um, I'm on the uh platform. So I, if I was on um YouTube, I would make you a mod. If you, Brian, if you don't mind, I'll I'll go ahead and do that just so that you can do stuff like that in the future. Uh, and so, uh, yeah, Sean was saying right, and that was Allison's uh comment about the the cool, beautiful lightning bolt across the top absolutely so so neat um and then yeah if a mod wouldn't mind sharing dustin's link uh it is dustin finds rocks yes um thank you allison i really really appreciate it and same with dustin i mean he is such a superstar uh we don't get to hang out with him at all enough he's a busy dude um but he's always been such a good time when we've had him on the podcast he's very generous and he finds really super cool stuff um let's see oh no mad kai thank you so much i really appreciate you uh <laughs> suggesting for the the likes um <laughs> are you not entertained and oof so pretty i really appreciate that uh nomad kai all right and so we're gonna take this guy out of the vice real quick oh there's a nice close-up of the vice the vice and um you guys got to see you got to see the stuff that you got to see so Another thing that I was really curious about, um, and what I mean by that, a uh, bit of redundancy, uh, while I'm looking away from the microphone and not not uh, expressing the full volume here, um, we're, we're going to look at fossils uh, from Ken. And one of the ones that I tripped over before I got to the ones that I was looking for seemed like it would be really, really interesting. So not only Allison, but also it looks like Ken also shared uh, Dustin's uh, link there. So if you're interested, at, no, not just if you're interested, go. Because you don't know if you're interested. When you see some of the stuff that he finds in Missouri, you're going to like, your face is just going to fall. It's just amazing. So thank you guys, both of you. Um, yes, Brian is a good, as an exceptional mod. Um, and so <laughs> I like, I know that you, you've probably over modded, but like, I really, really appreciate all of you very much. And, and so, yeah, if you're willing, that would be great. Um, 
and Holly would like to send screenshots to me. So um, the the best would be uh, my email address, and um, I, I think like I think that uh, that's not problematic. Like the bots won't get me if I just say it over the air, right, guys? <laughs> Maybe you guys should tell me. Um, it's ozone669 at gmail.com. Hopefully, like the, you know, now I'm not going to get like a gazillion things in my inbox. But um, at any rate, uh, here, let's take the view. So I was trying to go through Ken's box to find the things that I wanted to share with you guys. Uh, and also that, you know, Ken wanted me to share with you guys. And I stumbled across some fossil coral that he shared with me. And so I kind of threw the the black light on it and or rather the UV and it looked pretty darn cool. You can see the barneys here. Um and it's it's it itself is is coral. And so we I one of the things that Ken was interested in seeing is if there was going to be some uh, foraminifera. Uh, ba -ba -da -da -da. I, I always hear that. Um, when we look at a fossil shell with some of its matrix on. And I was like, wow, you know, we might even get luckier with uh, the coral. And that should be some pretty fantastic old uh, sand around it with potential forms. I have not looked at it under the microscope yet, but I thought it might be kind of neat. So that I believe is where we're going to go next. And let me load the, um, load our vice here really quick. Um, what I'm using to hold our specimen so that we can move it around while we're looking at it is a ball vice for jewelry. Um, or engraving or scrimshaw or whatever, whatever it is that you do, but, uh, it's, it's working really good for that. So, um, for this particular, like for a platform for this particular guy, uh, it, it seems to be the ticket. So let us look at this. Okay. We'll bring it into view. Yeah. Don't tell me that's too high. It's crazy. So there's our, we are seeing both matrix materials. So you can see the sand, you know, you've got grains that are dark um, and then you have lighter grains, but we're having like beautiful, uh, you know, structure as far as the, the coral cell structure goes. Um, so what I thought would be nice is that, you know, we can cruise around. That's why the ball of ice is rad. <laughs> so we're seeing like uh, nodes of the coral, I believe here. Um, that's what those little two guys are. And so let's see. Um, I'm hoping for a twofer here. Uh, so we're, we're both seeing the sand, you know, in little pockets and stuff like that. Not, not sure, you know, uh, how, how much this sand is part of say, you know, matrix or concretion, or if it's, you know, stuff that's been kind of just, uh, impacted in from a later date. So it's hard to, to date this particular matrix um, as opposed to say, when I have a fossil shell from our beaches here and I'm able to like ascertain, yep, you know, this filled in as part of this event, it's under this layer. And so, you know, the, this, this uh, sand is as old as, as this little entity, you know, which for our uh, area, is middle Miocene. Um, and posting them on Discord would be awesome. Yeah, you could definitely post them on the Discord. That Opal guy uh, would be fantastic. Um, didn't know if she wanted to share with everybody or just share with me, but please on on the um, the Discord would be great. Foraminifera. Ba, ba, da, da, da. Um, so 
the the forums are these little one cell structures. They're crystalline structures uh, that uh, are organisms that live in the ocean to this day and they have all kinds of like fantastic little bodies and whatnot um i think actually well no i, I don't think i have a video of it um i i have to make a slideshow if i want to share pictures it's wacky stuff about this particular platform i think i can ah, anyway um so any the so the forums um Maybe we'll get to one on this specimen, but I know where I can find one for you. Uh, we'll go ahead and, and throw that on the microscope as well. And so um, these little single cell structures, uh, oftentimes, oftentimes they they look like some of the structures that we have today, like a spiral shell, like a tortella, or they might look like a pine cone, or they might look like a ammonite. And so it's really cool because uh, the the ones from different eras are actually uh, they can uh, show you what time frame for your fossil because they go extinct. So if you've got this this particular uh, forum in this particular fossil, it can help you uh, determine its its age uh, by by what it is. Um, <laughs> the, I was like. I got the the new phone. Send me the Discord link. <laughs> Yay. Oh, that'll be great. Uh, yeah, yeah. Kyle's uh, Kyle's little guy last night or the night before that was so, so super cool. Um, and yeah, you know, uh, uh, sometimes, sometimes uh, uh, little uh, fossils of coral can be great and other times caterpillars and amber you you get what you get um and thank you for coming uh sean that's awesome uh and and so what i want to do here really quick before i scroll around on this guy is um just see what kind of uh um uv we've got going on already and then we can we can take a a journey so you can see right now that these little uh, nodes are are definitely. So let me turn us down a little bit more. There we go. So that's that's pretty cool. Like it's definitely got a different um, a different color going, uh, different mineralization than the body of the rest of the coral. So that's pretty cool. Um, let's take a trip. Whoa. Trying to use both hands. Wow. Let's bring that into focus. There we go. And you know, it's, it's kind of moon surfacey, isn't it? And that's the edge of our specimen. And so see, oh, no, because you're, you need to hold the light, Karen. Um, there's like some of the parts are lighting up really bright in like those little tiny particulars, particulates over there, um, like stars. Some of that obviously could be uh, lint, but other might be... Um, some of the forums, like some of these guys that are glowing, like that guy right there. And so what we can do is maybe zoom in on that guy and see if that's just something that filled that in. Let's have a look. Let's go way closer. Where do you go? Oh, that's interesting. It went away. All right, I'm going to need to adjust. This is this is where we we ran into this problem last time. So nobody panic. And let's get the auto exposure going. There we go. Oh, way too overexposed. All right. Yeah, that that's really interesting. Our little guy went away. So maybe that was uh that could have been 
some kind of like a mica or something like that uh, in the sand that was giving us a reflection in that particular place. Uh, but I think this is really interesting. Um, we got a little bit hotter as far as, oh, there it is. That's the thing right there. What was that? If you guys look at that small thing there to the just left to center. Oh, there's a lot of little bits in there. That might, uh, those forums might need to get tracked down with regular light for me, you know, if I was doing this scientifically, I'd, I'd go after them to see what shapes I'm looking at, but see that, that right there. Who are you? Are you somebody? It almost looks like just something that's filling that, but boy, that looks, that is so looks good. Up, up, uh, up close like that. Let's go, for, let's go closer. To find out. Might need to auto adjust again here. Hold on. Let's get this crispy. There we go. Sort of. Bring that in. It's going to burn us out. Wow. There we go. That's interesting. Those maybe that's got to wonder what the those little straight lines are over there. If that's just lint or if that was something that was alive in there, also. There we go. That's pretty crisp. That's that's really interesting. That might be actually part of its structure because if you look down into the holes of some of those other guys to the left, there's there's like little uh, circles inside some of those ones too. That might have been part of the the structure of the the beast. They got mineralized a certain way what i might consider doing the next time is actually putting the light on a on some kind of a clamp <laughs> so that you guys don't all feel like you're on like a, a ship or something because i'm i'm moving it erratically while i'm trying to look at the comments and see around the corners of things actually i don't know can you guys see my cursor tell me if tell me if you can see what i'm like moving my hand around right there um that actually looks like one of the uh forums that looks like a little pine cone you might be able to get closer to it too that that looks very very forum like um so Spot says, uh, I have an old clip-on microscope bought for, oh, your old phone, right? We'll have to see what I can do with it on this phone, a Galaxy Note 20 Ultra. Yeah, definitely check that out. That would be super cool to see. And then share it with us, Spot. Um, and <clears throat> I'm wondering if that might be the body of the animal that fossilized it's rare, but soft bodies can permineralize, right? Yeah. And so I'm wondering, you know, or, or there's something about the trace fossil that is shared with all of those other tubes, uh, up there, just not to the same degree as that one, you know, like the closer we got, the, the more we saw some of that can so, so neat, uh, that used to be a living organ, that used to be to have living organisms inside it. Fascinating, says Holly. Yes, definitely. Heck yeah. All right, everybody's going. Yes, 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 yes. A water flea. <laughs> All right. Oh, and Twister is in the house. Hello. Who doesn't like the video? <laughs> 
want somebody just coming and going probably. It's all good. It's all good, guys. Let's see if we can get closer. Okay, that is as close as we can go. I really wanted to see. That is a foramen over there to the foraminifera there to the left. And so let's go over there and see this one because he's uh, familiar. And what's crazy is that there are, um, oh my gosh, you guys, I'm sorry. I just need to scooch this over and I'm, I'm going to do it in a less than perfect way. There we go. Did we lose him? That's funny if we lost him. Mm -hmm. um, there are books that you can get that help with the identification, obviously. And what's crazy, that's like a whole nother view, isn't it? Well, we lost some of our light though when I moved it. So let's let's get some exposure going here. Um, settle down. Wow, oh, that's just upset. Hold on, guys. Way interesting. Um, yeah, you can look these guys up in there in the books. And unfortunately, like the, the little pine cone looking guys, um, they, there's like a hundred of them that look the same, you know, and they just would have had like tiny little differences and therefore, um, they will, um, uh, you know, be, be considered like a, a different forum, you know, one chamber that's different or something like, so if you, if you could count their little, you know, pine cone chambers, then you know who you're looking at type thing. I'm not very happy with this particular view. Not as good as where we were before. For some reason, we can move along. But we did see that one pine cone. All right. I think we just, we also do need it a little lighter. Let's give a knob auto exposure opportunity here, really quick. There we go. Yeah, we're seeing, um, Another view of those little guys. This is in really close. All those little guys filling the the holes. Let's try this this view. There, I like that better. You know, it's it's nice when you can see kind of that translucency of the the coral structure. That's actually where we were seeing the, the forum before. Right now I'm discombobulating it because we still have the, the square there. Yeah, but, and in this view we're, we're seeing those little guys that are inhabiting the little um, shoots as well. Oh, it's tricky rock hounding in the, the microscopic world though. <laughs> Let's see. All right. I'm going to zoom back out here really quick and we can choose some of the other stuff on this little specimen to, to look at. Oh, this is a good piece good looking piece of coral. And you, uh, again, you can see the stuff that's, you know, choosing, electing to light up and what doesn't. There's our little bright guy up there again, uh, up there on the right hand side. Let's cruise around a little bit. See if anybody pops out at us. 
No, there will be no, no caterpillars on this. Sorry. Kyle's the only one with caterpillars. <laughs> Interesting change of material there. Let's go over here. Interesting change of material over here too and some really different colors. Let's have a look at you guys. Nice. That's so pretty. That's so pretty. Whatever it is. We've got two anomalies going on here. I mean, one of them looks like the green thing in the center, bluish green, um, looks like some, you know, a new piece of coral growing. And then who knows what that like, uh, the, our squiggle, our long, long squiggle to the left. Um, you guys all said yes to my hand. So, blah, 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 blah. so that's interesting. Do we have, do we have like a little, a worm cast, I bet, that, uh, oh, hey, Rufo's in the house. And it, I, I see later, Chris, though. <laughs> so that's what it's looking like without the light. Um, here we go with the light. And so that cast uh, looks like it's it's pretty, pretty glowy. Some, some interesting per mineralization there. Very nice color says, uh, Joseph for sure. Yummy says Holly. Um, it is truly beautiful. I just, you know, any of these could be like screensavers for me. I love looking at this stuff. Uh, John is in the house. Ken, yes. Uh, music and Roger Dean's album cover work was very instrumental in my artistic path, both, both artistry and music. Yes. Oh yeah. And that is mycelium looking stuff that strand it's all over it. Yeah. Okay. Gotcha. Nice. So there's that. Kachush. Spot the adapter is more than the cable was. Interesting. That does look like a, a worm, like the squiggles. Yeah, we've kind of got an we've got an ammonite for later, or like a a foraminifera ammonite. <laughs> um, if if such a thing can can exist, we're gonna go closer though. Um, let's let's go closer on this. Uh, so And I wouldn't have the whole toolbar out for you guys to see other than the fact that I, I obviously need it. But we'll we'll get it figured out so that we can have a, a clean show without having extra garbage so that you get the biggest, you know, the reason why I do that is so that those of you that are watching on a TV and that sort of thing, you'd be getting the, you know, the full on National Geographic sized version. So let's look at the structure as I go away with the, the light. Let's look at the structure some more. That's so cool. I mean, it's so, um, you know, like the foam styrofoamish looking structure. That is crazy. What a, what a beautiful like ocean flower, but any of you that have done scuba or snorkeling probably feel that way already about like our, our ocean flowers. Trying to get that guy into view. What's, what's also interesting and I'm getting used to as far as this, uh, microscope goes, pardon me, is, um, you know, I touch it. And I get it into view and then I stop touching it and it's not in view anymore or rather in, in focus. And so, you know, the, they they of course have like the really slick, um, zooms that are, are mechanical zooms on a, on a little motor. And that would have been really nice. Cause then I could, I could do effective stacking much better when you're taking the photography of, of these guys, you know, you get rid of the depth of field. But um, <laughs> this will do for now. <laughs> like this little guy was expensive enough that yeah, I couldn't I couldn't go whole hog 
this time around. Next time I'll get one with a motor. Okay, it looks like I'm gonna need to increase the focus here a bit. Hold on. Or rather the exposure just a tiny bit. Ah. You know, the closer we get, the, the less light's going in there. I wonder if I should just turn this light up a little. If that would work better. Oh, that's an interesting effect. But that does help. All right. So that's a that's a 40x, guys. That's a pretty a pretty little polyp. See if I can't get that a little crisper. Yeah, whoa. There. Yeah, nice structure. And we can zoom out a little bit and hit that um, worm. Wormy guy. There. Hello. Hello, big guy. Oh, yeah. There's the opening of the cast. Right there. Let's bring you into focus. Oh, that's really interesting. It's like a tentacle. <laughs> Very cool. All right. Um, <laughs> Theo is officially a Discordian. Yay! <laughs> we needed that in the Discord for sure. The more Discordians, the better. Um, and let's see. Yeah, welcome to the dark side, says Brian. And let's see. Yes, opals are so special. That is so true. And the white, That white looks like a shell. And... That's what Joseph says. Spot is saying that his TV is old. <laughs> and Joseph used to dive for huge clamshells. Very cool. All right. Thank you so much for uh, hanging out, Holly. That was a blast. Really appreciate all of the input. <laughs> and and your, um, your like co-nerding on like the Mars geology and everything. You, you've definitely found your tribe here. We all love that so much. Um, let's see. And yeah, definitely a worm cast. We can get a bit closer just to see if there's some, some interesting definition on the casting itself. Zoom. And focus. And let's bring this up a bit. This is exactly where we ran into trouble last time. Uh, it's like enough glow happening. Is, that's really odd. It's like taking away from the, the focusing. That's neat. So interesting. I liked the flower. That's not quite as fancy, but like you can actually see in the it's mineralization when I'm moving the light around that there it's like it's kind of stripey, like it goes pink, green, pink, green, and then pink again. So it's like ridges have a, a different, um, you know, quality, I guess, than than the little places inside. That's, that's pretty cool. All right. So, uh, Ken's, oh, actually that's, that got better. Oh, there it is. That was pretty blurry in comparison. Now we're seeing like that definition much better. Just got to turn another different knob, Karen. <laughs> Well, that's that was interesting too. A little light show. 
And once again, you kind of got to wonder what like all these little sinuous guys running through left and right. And then you see like a, you know, an odd circle, like there's a, a circle right there. Who are you? That could be like a, a forum that we're just not, not zoomed in on. 40X is, it can be okay for forums, but there's, there's forums that are smaller. I mean, they're just little single cell guys. And so you know, I used to have a good time looking for forums, uh, uh, starting at the 45 on my lab microscope and then going up from there, like between 45 and hundred is really kind of a sweet spot for the forums, but that's some, that's some interesting for sure. Okay. And so, yeah, gonna, how about closer? All right. That's what it looks like. Uh, under the normal light. And then again, we look over to the left and we see that circle that was a different color and sure enough, it is something different. And so you gotta wonder if if that guy is a forum as well. Um, close up on, a f oh, okay. Uh, you're explaining to somebody, I see a Val. <laughs> Welcome into the chat, thank you. <laughs> and she was asking, what am I looking at? Aw. <laughs> John, thank you so much. You guys are the best. Like, uh, I really, really appreciate these. Uh, you have no idea. They are so, so helpful for me to be able to, to, to do this and, and kind of carve out the, the time to, to be able to hang out here with you guys. And this is so much fun. <laughs> like, you know, uh, uh, this, this also can help me to like, okay, well, do I, do I need to do like job oriented stuff right now? Or can I go play with you guys in, you know, it's still, it still ends up, uh, being, being the same. So I really, really, really appreciate that. Thank you so much, John. Um, and so we're gonna, let's like kind of pan out a little bit, um, and see about, that. Huh. Okay. I'm going to have to manually. There we go. Whoop. Wrong way. There. Haha. -ha. All right. So um, we are going to do what Ken wanted to see really quick. Now, Ken, I imagined, Ken, I imagined that you were talking about, um, let me not that, that. <laughs> okay, so here's here's one of the fossil shells that Ken shared with me, and it's got some matrix on it, but it is uh, super UV, crazy good. Um, wondering even, won't shine you guys, but no, that's not gonna, that's not gonna show like how rad it is. Yeah, I'm going to need to do a different thing. I'll put it in the, the vice on the microscope and we'll be able to see it. But um, it's going to be super, ah, <laughs> this is for faceting ref. Don't spend it all at once. <laughs> Thank you, Theo. <laughs> I'll tell you what, um, it'll definitely fuel the faceting session, um, which is, uh, you know, the coffee. And so... <laughs> Yeah. Uh, actually, what's interesting is on Kyle's live uh, yesterday, I ended up with some of that Libyan desert glass and I cannot wait to facet that. That's going to be so much fun to play with. And so I already spent the money, Theo. Thank you. <laughs> I didn't spend too much on it because it's going to be an experiment first, but I have a feeling I'm going to need more of that. So I really appreciate that. Thank you so much. You guys are all amazing. Every single one of you. I really, really appreciate you just even coming along for the ride. Um, and so we've got, uh, so I, I was asking Ken that that's what I thought. That's the exact one. <laughs> I was going to check with you. I love it. All right. We have a Nagi. Um, and so I'm just getting it in the vice nicely so that we can see the shell and so that we can see the shell and the matrix. Hopefully that wasn't too far away from the microscope or microphone. Um, and let me try to cruise that into view. 
get it all the way up and all the way out. And we will get you guys back. All right, so you've seen the ball of ice and there's our shell and we're way overexposed. And so this is the type of thing that, that caused us all of the, the hassle last time, guys. <laughs> oh my gosh, and was that ever like an embarrassing amount of hassle? All right, so who wants to get closer? There's This is our fossil shell that we were just looking at and try to get it into focus. And then, hello. So you can see very glowy, glowy. Um, and I'll do an exposure check on that too. But we have on the right hand side, that is the matrix material. So there should be some forums in there. And on the left hand side, we have the, the shell itself. And that's what's, you know, doing such a spectacular job of, of glowing. And there we're in a better form focus situation. And now all we need to do is help our exposure. So there's, wow, there's a lot of different colors going on there. That is pretty neat. Um, Let's cruise around just a tiny bit. So just in the matrix material itself, look at how many different colors of constituents we have. Wow. And then this is more. <laughs> and then we have the calcified shell. I love how glowy, glowy that is. I mean, that is like, I love the color too. That is so cool. All right. Um, there we go. And we're out far enough, you know, that, that uh, we lose, we lose the sweet spot of the light. So this isn't that close, but we've got, you know, this glowing green, we've got some lovely orange then we have the matrix material that has just so many different colors in it. So that is insane. <laughs> I'm loving that. Okay. So we're going to actually, we have more of it up this way. Unfortunately, that's tilting us in the wrong direction for our focus. But I'm kind of wondering if we won't get lucky with this great big globule of it here. Can we bring you into focus? Of course we can. So let's have a close look with that first. I mean, that's just like, ah, oh, it's pool water. Look at that glowy. It's like nighttime pool water. I love that color. Um, okay, stay focused, Karen. What are we looking at? So this sandstone or, you know, yeah, I guess it would be more sandstone than lime. Look at how many different colors are going on in there. Oh my gosh, that's so cool. So it would be really cool if, you know, some of that turned out to be uh, uh, some of the forms conglomerated in there. Yes. Yes, John, you are. This is a Steinkern. <laughs> what is wrong with me? Cheers, everyone. I even have the, the stag and we forgot to cheers in the very beginning too. So back on with the light and I'm going to drink too. What's in your mug? I just have kombucha but it's delicious. All right. So we're going to focus in on that. Although I probably should choose something a little flatter, but let's go check this out. It's coming closer, closer, auto exposure. 
Bring it back. Bring it back. Here we go. So that I can try to get that in focus too. Here we go. Wow. That's neat. What is it? That's cool. That almost looks like it's got its own, um, like its own cellular structure to it. Oh, that's so crazy. All right, let's get closer. And probably bring you a little bit farther in. Here we go. Get you in the center and bring the light back and get an exposure. There we go. And bring it into focus. Look, it looks like honeycomb or something. That is so weird. It almost looks like it's something that grew onto the side of this shell as opposed to just being matrix. That is so neat. Although I'm just totally unfamiliar with the kind of matrix from Ken's neck of the woods. So I'm, I'm like scanning down the, the uh, depth of field here because we, this, this guy goes up and down. That's scientific vernacular. It goes up and down guys. And so let's just take a look at, we're kind of going upwards now. Wow. That's crazy. I wonder if that little bean is something. Like that's kind of what you're like looking at until you, you get some serious magnification. It's like, oh, it looks like a bean or it looks like a perfect circle. And a lot of times like a perfect circle will end up being a um, forum. So before I get rid of our exposure box, I'm going to go ahead and get us all the way zoomed. So that's that's 40x right there. That is the limit for this particular lens on this magnifying. Wow. Looks like something like a, it's the crystalline entity. Okay, I'm going to lock in our exposure. And then... We'll get it better focused. Okay. I'm missing a bunch of the chat, but I'm like mesmerized by like so many colors in this thing. You can see the, uh, the way that the, the, uh, microscope is is moving each time I you know try to get it to to focus I'm gonna have to get better at that because you can't have it bouncing around like that while well, you're trying to get the job done oh well this will definitely also be useful for when I do the sand um, I'm, I'm going to, to make a, a video of different kinds of sand from different parts of the world. And, um, this is so interesting, you know, the sand representing so many different things, you know, that this must mean that the sand has that many different things that, that glow in different colors under the UV. I'm going to definitely be needing to get, uh, the, I think this this would be what's the regular UV that most people have? Is that the the long wave, and then you get the short wave? Um, <laughs> frothy lady, John. <laughs> That's funny. I'm sorry, I'm rocking the camera. Um, so Ken is standing next to a mountain. Chop it down with a cam can of spam. <laughs> All right. Thank you, Joseph, for hanging out. Have a great evening. I mean, this looks like it 
has all the different the different colors of minerals in it. You know, we we have uh, stuff that's purple and green and orange, and then you know, showing kind of that blue. That like kind of more the the brightness of of whatever agate, but then the orange for maybe calcite. Just wow, it's got everything. Spam, 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 spam. I don't think I'm going to get a copyright strike strike for that. I don't think. Hope not. <laughs> Thank you, John. <laughs> um. So, anyways, that's yeah. That is a good song, and this is so interesting. Let's like move around just a tiny bit and see see who who else is here. And this is just like a bowl full of weird glowy jelly, you know. Let's see what's in there. Although I did see like a perfect circle go by and more, most likely that would be a forum. Um, Cause there's not a whole lot of grains of sand that hit the, the perfect circle, but there's a lot of circular forums. <laughs> Doesn't that just look like a glowy bowl of jelly? It's so weird. It's like disco jelly or rave jelly. Just, I guess would depend on what era you come from. <laughs> So weird. Oh my gosh. So getting up towards the top, getting a little darker. There we go. So this is just still just the matrix material. You know, the, the material of the shell itself, uh, the way that it mineralized um, is very consistent. You know, it's, it's just that, that pool water. But look at all the different glowy colors we've got here. I'm trying to mess with the depth of field here a little bit and so we're seeing crystals too and look at that like super duper glowy 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 like uh acid green and in the left uh quad there left lower quad so that could be a forum again this stuff i would have a better time uh knowing for sure in regular light as opposed to in the glowy glowy wow yeah, I'm loving that. Like some of it just just not even ceasing to to make pretty shine when the the light's not even on it. So we have like a Jefferson airplane style light show going on right now. Okay. It's just where there's a lot of depth of field here. Like it's it's an, an uneven terrain, so it's hard to know what to to focus on exactly. But that is absolutely gorgeous. I love that. You can just look at that for a long time. <laughs> and it's interesting. Like what is it? All right. So um, long wave is three sixty five, and and then. There's the the short wave, which uh, Brian is saying is 255. Thank you for that. Um, and so that's what I wanted to do. <laughs> so um, that was pretty interesting. And I think that I'm going to need to, oh, good night, Papa. I'm um, going to need to look at the uh, the shell a little bit more in regular light, the the matrix there, and uh, hunt for some of the forms so I know what I'm looking at exactly in that particular uh, matrix, and then I can point them out. But right now it's like, you know, I'm I'm getting my eyes on it for the first time, just like you guys, and I'm just I'm delighted in what I'm seeing, but I don't know what I'm seeing. Chernobyl cherry jelly, <laughs> I love it. Like it, it's the next, like you know, Ben and Jerry's flavor or something. <laughs> That's great. Thank you, that opal guy. Hilarious. Um, and like that giant catfish with two mouths that Jeremy Wade got. <laughs> Oh my gosh, two mouths. Was that caught near Chernobyl? <laughs> Scary. Um, <laughs> I guess that, oh, li river monsters. I've seen a few of those. Pretty interesting. Um, all right. <laughs> Theo's going to go binge watch now. 
and oh that's that's cool john has been experimenting with making an affordable uh medium wave device having mixed results and i keep on getting sunburnt so there's that <laughs> that's funny <laughs> Oh my gosh. Our, he got permission to fish in Chernobyl. Oh my gosh. That's amazing. Yeah, I've seen a couple documentaries and it's crazy like the animals that are are going on out there. And so, uh cool. I'm I'm probably going to need to to go check that out too. Um so does anybody Oh, I think uh although I think that Sean left. I was going to show um the the forums since they happened really quick uh through the sli slideshow this is a piece of uh fossil you know uh conglomerate that i have from our our beaches here and i just what i the only reason why i really wanted to polish it at all you know it's pretty it's one of those uh it's you know mass die off or a death plate um, and I wanted to polish it enough so that I could see what was there, if that makes sense. A lot of times when you're looking at rough stuff, um, it's, it all looks like the grains of sand. It all looks like the, the dirt or whatever. Um, and so it's, it's hard to see if you've got a form sitting there, uh, because it, it's kind of like when you're rock hounding and it could be a big piece of agate, but if it's all covered with the same kind of dirt as everything else, then it looks like everything else on the, on the ground. And unfortunately, like micro rock hounding feels very, very much the same way. And so if I polish something, then not only do I get a better look at it, a clearer look at it when I put it under the microscope, but also sometimes you get lucky and you cleave something in half you know, out of the vast, like, you know, percentages and, and ratios and possibilities, you will cleave things in half. And then you get some really, really nice views uh, into the, the innards, which um, I did uh, have a chance to show you with the, the, the poo, was that there was some nice, um, the kind of forums that look like the, the pine cones. Um, and so that was that was a good indication of that. And if you didn't see that, that was on our last live stream. And I think that one worked out because I was doing it in regular light uh, before we introduced the, the black light. And so I'm just getting this guy in the vise. And I think I can find where the forum was. Because that's the other thing is that you can find a um, you can find a specimen in a you know in a big rock and then you know oh okay i'm really excited about it and whatever and then if you lose it like if you take it out i'm sorry i'm having trouble with the vice right now um if you lose it then you might not ever find it again it's like a needle in a haystack they can be so small that if you didn't remember what it was by you know uh so again, like you're you're in the the hills and you find a a uh, you know a bunch of vagot or something like that, and then if you don't uh, drop a, a pinpoint there, you know your your location, then you might not ever find it again because it all kind of looks the same. Well, sometimes what we're looking at here on the microscope, same same. All right, so let's go back to the stage. And what we've got here is our beautiful fossil shell happening, and that's the very edge. So let's move her over. And I think we're going to be right nearby what we need to look at. Hopefully, it's at the right angle. I might have it a little too angled. And this is just interesting anyway. <laughs> it's a bunch of fossil shell debris and like you so you can see the the shells. Um, and then you know you can see the ridges of the shells and then you can see my the sand that makes up the 
um, concretion and or the matrix sand. And that's where I'm raw counting for the the forums. And so I'm I'm now trying to figure out where on the on the shell we are so I know where to go. I think I need to go this way. Like I said, it's like sometimes it's very much like finding a, a needle in a haystack. So that's down by that. So we need to go up, up and over. So hopefully I am also not making you guys all super seasick right now. <laughs> And that's what we needed to do. Oh, but that might put it in the glare. Oh, talk amongst yourselves. Ooh. Here we are, that again. This is when we need some like really great mellow music. There we go. There are you guys. So I did share this in the um, the Discord earlier. And I thought I'd go back to these guys because I knew that they were there. So it's the sure thing. Oh, come back here. Don't go over there. So looks like a little doggy face right now. Um but let's bring that into focus. So what we're looking at is um, almost in the direct center, we see like the, the little sectiony guy. Um, and that is a, a, like a part, you know, I, I did cleave that guy in half. And so you're seeing more of a cross section and you can see section, section, section going around, like almost like an ammonite. And so it's kind of like a mini ammonite. And there, there's like a plethora of different kinds. That, uh, like I said, you know, there might be a hundred of that kind of foramen, but it might be, or forum, but it might be that like one of them has six chambers and another one has seven or one's got like they're more uniform and or or they like get diminished very quickly to being very small and so they they can be crazy um and let's see the one i got karen rivals the the uv beast mini uh yeah thank you lisa uh uh did get me this um this uh uv light thank you so much lisa thank you for reminding me to thank you again pub pub publicly <laughs> so so it uh it works awesome and what i think i would like to do is get the other one so that you know i, I guess i i conveyed half of a thought process because i was asking um i would love to get the other one so that we can uh do some of the same comparos that kyle shows off when he's showing uh some of the things that he has on his live sale here's the short wave here's the long wave i think that that's fascinating and i think that we would see some different things underneath the the microscope too if we had the um the the different ones available so um oh theo's talking about faceting exactly uh opal funds or faceting rough funds or a new lab or 12 pounds of laboratory yeah right <laughs> that's hilarious okay and opal guy thank you so much for singing um i hope everybody heard that um let's see and oh gosh no 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 baby shark <laughs> please don't do that um yeah let's see i oh my gosh i was doing some some shopping and i was like oh there's there's three things that are are fighting for the same money right now in my in my shop and um one is uh, a um a mill for, for jewelry making. Uh, the other is a, a graver I really need. And then of course I need the air scribe and these are all needs. You guys, you do understand. And they're, you know, they're for, for you guys to enjoy <laughs> so that we can all watch like what happens, you know, with the air scribe. Um, 
we've got some insane um, fossils to go through. Okay, so we've got that that M night looking guy on the right hand side. We've got one in the middle that's dark. That's like the nose of the dog or whatever. And I don't even know. So let's let's actually get a little bit closer. I I don't know how much closer we can get. Oh, there we go. Actually, we can get. Oh, that's pretty good. Um. Ooh, she's impressed. So, although so now we're we're seeing the sections of that one to the right really good. Um, I don't even know what to make of this guy, like down to the bottom of of this little chamber. So this is stuck in the chamber in between a couple of other shells in the mass die off. You know, so we had like a mass die off of large shell proportion and then we had this little mass die off going on inside them too and so shoot everything uh seems to have died there mass die offs are great places to look for these you know if i'm being uh honest and so let's see um earworm yes yeah uh, melissa's thanking um opal guy for the earworm and the mid wave can show some that don't in the long or short, which, yeah, wouldn't that be so cool if like we just like flicked from each one and then all of a sudden, blah, here's this crazy thing just like lurking there in the, the void. Um, and so this guy in the middle, uh, it looks like he could be a forum as well. And then there's actually like a little squiggly uh, there to the left of the guy in the middle. And um, I'm not sure what's going on with our journeys. <laughs> You're so nice. Thank you. Oh, my gosh. I don't even know what to say. This is so great. Um, I really appreciate it, like I said. And uh, you guys know that th this is going directly to these toys that you guys will play with me with on fun fossils and rocks and things. So I really, really appreciate it. Thank you so much. <laughs> you guys are the best. So much, so much love, so much love. I, you guys are awesome. Um, okay. So again, I don't know what the black guy is. There's a little like squiggly eight to the left. Um, and so I, I would love to look at these under more magnification. And yes, we are going to UV this bad boy here in a second. And then I just also wanted to point out that guy to the, the left, all the way to the left, like the, the most kind of orangey guy, I'm like bringing him a little bit more center now, um, is you have to be so delicate with these guys or else, you know, the whole thing goes off. That is, um, a chambered Nautilus looking guy, like of the greatest degree. And it's kind of hard to see, but you can, you can see, actually, I wonder if I change the lighting just a little bit, if, if he's going to be, yeah, you can kind of see the, the lines going around, you know, it starts in the center and then goes up to the right and around and diminishes when it gets to the left. And, you know, he, he's like a little ammonite. And so let's go to, let's get the UV out and see what happens. So I'm going to bring this down a little bit. Nope, that's the wrong way. Bringing the light down, everybody. Getting it cooled off in here. And is the light on? Yes. So let's make an exchange. That wasn't a very good crossfade, huh? And so there's a little bit going on there. And what I want to do is play with the exposure because it just might be um, weak enough. But we had kind of, hello, we had kind of a show going on earlier where they were, they were catching some, some little bit. There we go. Whoa. There. So definitely on the inside of the one on the right, we're getting like a, a huge amount of, so it, it like, just like some of our bigger shells, it filled with something. How cool is that? Let me get rid of my target. And ah, there it is there. Now you can see the ammon and actually it was swirling to the other direction. That's funny. Okay. Bring it back, Karen there, there, look at it. 
there in all of its beautiful glory, you can see the sections and everything. And that's because of the UV. Like we weren't seeing hardly anything before, but look at that. That is so cool. And he's tiny. That's like less than a millimeter right there. Cause we're at 40 X. Oh, I love it. You know, there's like that, like kind of a dark rust colored, um, uh, line that shows you like the very center of it. Oh my gosh, Karen I was trying to move the light around to get it the, to being the best. And then it swirls around to the left and on up to the right, which is actually there. Ooh, got, got some nice green in there for a moment. So I think that, yeah, that would be, you know, maybe really nicely UV reactive, just dependent on how well I have it set up. Maybe not set up the very best right now, but you can see it, it makes a huge difference. We see a lot of, a lot of cool color in there. Ah, there we go. Maybe that's the best so far. Anyways, I'm in love with that. So that's... Uh, We'll just have to tell Sean he can <laughs> watch the replay. But what's really a bummer is that that didn't do much for our other two guys. Those lower guys, I don't know what they are, but it looked like there was like some kind of an interesting surface to our little uh, dark fellow there to the right. And then we've got just a squiggly to the left that I can't tell what's really going on with either. Um but yeah, there, there's a there's our mini mass die off uh, in the uh, little nooks and crannies of our massive die off. And so, if you're interested in seeing the the forums yourself, um, and forums can uh, exist in uh, the the matrices of the. You, you know, there was, there was the oceans that were in the middle of our continents, you know, the inland seas anyway. Um, and so there's, there's possibility to see uh, the forum foraminifera in a lot of different fossil materials. If you've got like some, some shells in there, then you can look too. And one of the ways to try to hunt them down is to polish your material just so that you can see what's there you know, get the, like, rinse the dirt off, uh, of the, the agate field, like, you know, uh, I was saying before. And so <laughs> now Karen can get the lab coat and pocket protector. Yeah. <laughs> um, and so let's see, we've got, uh, oh, John is saying, uh, his, Paradolia thinks the curved watch, I'm going to call it, reminds me of tabular seaweed. I know I'm weird. Huh. Par Paradolia. I'm going to have to, John, I'm going to have to look that up. Um, and Boots says it's 420, is it? Oh my gosh, it's eight. Uh, uh, I'm going to have to, um, I'm going to have to, to boogie. Um, <laughs> Hit me with that micro beat, Karen. Bring it back. Bring it back. <laughs> yeah, right. This is great. Um, and yeah, what are we changing into? All right. So uh, <laughs> you guys are the best. Um, so that was like a, a, a quick tour through our, our stuff. Let me see. What am I trying to do here? Do that. <laughs> And you guys know that there's like a bunch of stuff. There's there's all this stuff that was super fun from Ken to play with. Uh, can't wait to to check more of that out um, under the microscope with the UV. But Theo also sent me some really cool Montana uh, fossil plates. Uh, Dustin has. I've I've got some fossil plates from quite a few different places that we can play with. And then of course just regular things. Plus, uh, boy, uh, Kyle really kind of got me pumped on on playing with the amber insects. And I have 
you know, we we brought out the amber, I think one of the first times that we brought this this uh, microscope out, I was still learning and I'm still learning, you know, like that whole exposure thing, how to get all of the technology all working to do our bidding. And so it would be fun to revisit the the amber insects and, you know, who knows, maybe there's some like UV happening in there too. How cool would that be? You know, maybe some of those pollens or, or some of the very small things, there's some things I have no idea what are, but we didn't try the UV on that stuff. So that sounds like something that we're going to have to, to definitely try. Um, and did I, did I point the UV at any Amber yet? No, <laughs> that is what I am saying. And you guys are going to be there. Like, I think that that's going to be like a super fun thing for all of us to do. Um, Cheryl's in the house. Oh, she just got her now. <laughs> Cheryl, we're going to have to redo the whole thing for you. Settle in, everybody. We'll, we'll make it lullabies and good, good night stories. Um, I did. Uh, Amber itself glows really bright. Oh, I wonder if like if it it's glowing really bright if the stuff that is inside it also glows or if it'll do like the opposite like the um it will get a relief you know and so maybe that would be an interesting light show to to watch the glow of the amber against say the the hair of the fly or something like that i mean are you guys game for experimenting do do I need the lab coat for that? <laughs> oh, and John is saying, uh, don't forget to smash that like button. I really, really appreciate it. Um, and yeah, if you have any uh, recommendations for things that we need to put underneath the microscope, it's great for me to know ahead of time. And um, especially if it's something that, you know, I'm going to need to play with first to figure out, like I said, with the the forums, it's like, I'm going to have to find some for you guys to see. And I already knew where those ones were, but otherwise it's very much a needle in the haystack. So you kind of want to like do a little preparation, put it in the comments, what you want to see uh, under the microscope. And I will uh, acquiesce. Absolutely. You know, it's so much fun. Like I'm doing this anyway by myself. It's so much more fun to, to bring you guys along with for sure. Amber sources can be identified by the wavelength they fluoresce in. I see. Ooh, wow. That's super cool. Put a rock under the microscope. Okay, Theo. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> I call for a rock. I want to see it. And I want to see it now <laughs> to be continued. Um, I did actually also, uh, though, I did a thing for you guys um, earlier this evening. Uh, we were having this going on. And I wanted to share it with you. And so I figured this was going to be like the good way to see you guys out. Is we were having this sunset while I was getting ready for our live stream this evening. And you'll notice the waves like there's an easterly going on. And so they're getting the mare's tails on them. And it was just this beautiful moody sky. And you can hear the waves if she stops talking. <laughs> at least the roar of them and so I just had to share this with you guys like I was seeing this happening and I was like oh my gosh I need to I need to capture that for you okay and so and then I wanted to for sure share those mare's tales with you Or the, um, you know, the, the spray that happens when the, the wave crests and it gets blown with the wind. I just thought that was so pretty. You can see a fishing boat light way out there in the distance to the left. And she gets closer so that you can see that there are no good waves to ride if you're a surfer. Some interesting shapes. It's pretty jumbled out there. 
a UFO. <laughs> yes, absolutely. They were bringing me more things to look at under the microscope, right? I was supposed to call Scully and Mulder. Good night, Brian. Thank you. Ooh, Theo's talking about empty dots and a bench of teepee canyon agates. So anyways, I wanted to, to share with you a little bit of uh, the, the gorgeous evening that we were having. And I thank you all for joining this evening. Um, it's an honor to hang out with you guys on a Monday, on a holiday. It's like almost like playing hooky from school. We get Friday Night Live on Monday. <laughs> So thank you for, for uh, jumping into the micro zone with me. And we'll definitely have to do this again really soon. Like I said, leave me a comment uh, so that I can fetch it later. And uh, I'll know what you guys want to see more of. Theo wants to see a rock. Um, if you guys want to be more specific in the comments, that would be great. <laughs> but otherwise, once again, Stein Kern, cheers to you and yours, to your health. Uh, have a wonderful evening. Have a wonderful week. And I know we'll see ourselves around uh, all over the place at like an Allison Prairie Girl Rocks uh, coffee meetup or on maybe a wrapping party with Kyle or who knows where. I would like to see you though. So cheers to you until the next time. Rock on and we will catch you later. Thanks again.